Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show, Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Zombicide. And this is probably going to end up being a first look mini-series. The game is actually quite in-depth, quite detailed, and I don't know if I can encompass everything you need to know in one episode. That being said, Zombicide is by Soldak Entertainment. You can see down here in the bottom right corner. It is currently in Steam Early Access, so it is not completed yet, though they're getting closer and closer to full release. They're like um, beta 9.3, it should tell me right here, yeah, version 9.34. So they're definitely getting closer to that 1.0 release. And I gotta say, it's very similar to, we'll say like Titan's Quest, Grim Dawn, uh, Torchlight, Diablo. It's got that feel, that gameplay, but there's a lot more involved, a lot more here than those other games. That being said, let's hop in and get started. I'm going to play from the beginning, I've already deleted all my characters. And we're going to learn the game together as we go. I've already played around a little bit. I know some stuff, but there's so much information. I feel like we should start like I don't know anything. And just read through and learn together. So, this could be three episodes. This could be five episodes. It could be ten episodes. I don't know how much we need to get into it before I feel like you guys have a really good idea what the game has to offer. That being said, let's create a new character. Alright, we can rotate our guy. Hey, he looks rather ugly. There we go, now we're rotating. Yeah, <laughs> he's got the tiny little shield and the giant axe. It just seems kind of silly. Alright, so the different classes are as follows. The rogue, the warrior, the priest, the wizard, the ranger, the conjurer, the demon hunter, the death knight, and the hybrid. Which we get to basically create our own. So the warrior is muscle-bound heroes, employ brute force through almost any blunt or pointy object to demolish foolish foes. Additionally, Rogue, uh, living by their own rules, members of this tricky class excel at stealthy deception, trap evasion, and lock picking, and of course are lethal killing machines. The Priest, by the light of good, these holy warriors not only command strength and light, but they also heal and bless themselves and others. You have the wizard, powerful magic courses within the knowledge-seeking wizards who command Mastery of ice, fire, and other useful spells. Then there's the ranger. A jack of many trades, these lone fighters wield ranged weapons with skill. Throw down deadly traps and use shape-shifting to befuddle and decimate fearsome foes. That sounds pretty cool. The conjurer. Dark magic courses through their steely veins. Mighty power rests in the palms of the conjurers including mastery of lightning, vile curses and diseases, calling forth demons from beyond and raising the dead as mindless slaves. The demon hunters, deadly death dealers revel in the demonic arts, using those powers in new and devious ways. And the death knight. The evil death knight manipulates dark powers, twisting them to accomplish sinister plans and rising to dominate all regardless of the destruction left in their wake. All right, well, I'm going to go with the uh, wizard conjurer. I'm going to go with the wizard. I don't usually play a wizard. I usually go with, like, a two-handed warrior, murder stuff that way. Occasionally, I'll go with a ranged individual, but, I mean, the wizard's going to be kind of ranged anyway, you would assume, so there you have it. All right, we can have a random clan name, the Shadowforge, Vengeance, Jackals, Blade Bearers, Titans... Stonehearts, Dragon Maul, Marauders, Sovereign, Templars, the Bloodbath. Yeah, we're going to be the Bloodbath Clan now. The Blacktooth Clan, the Death Dealers. Yeah, it's a little simplistic. The United, Immortals, no. Uh, Hunters, the Damned, I don't think so. Bronze Guards, Holy Dragons, Unyielding, Blood Oath, Stone Plague, Embers Rising, Stone Magic, Unyielding again, Doom Maul, Legionaries. Dread Shields, Blood Legion, Death Watch, Berserkers, Raven. We're going to be the Ravens. Clan name, Raven. I guess that's fine. And we get to have our own random name if we wanted to. We're not going to do that stuff. We're going to be Derpy Derperson. Yes, it fits. All right, awesome. Derpy Derperson, and that is going to be it. Now, there's a bunch of advanced options here. To make the game, I am going to assume quite a bit more challenging. All of these are checked off. I'm going to leave them checked off because the game is already quite complex and I don't really want to roll out with this. 
So loner. Loner is a difficulty option only for advanced player. Loner rules are simple. You can't recruit anyone into your clan. Your character is the lone person in your clan, and he will eat your face. No, and uh, you can, however, purchase guards. You can't get a logistics win. Choose this option carefully. Once a character is started as a loner character, it stays that way forever. We're not going to go through all this stuff, guys and gals. If you want, I'm going to quickly go through. You can pause and read just to see what's there. But we're going to actually start the game with what we have. And it's going to be fantastic or terrible. One of those two things is probably true. Alright, so there you guys have it, ladies and gentlemen, of the rundown of what's going on. Alright, folks, let's begin. All right, now we get to start or select the starting monster level again. We're going to start on, nor on normal with zero because we're terrible, and that's probably a good thing. Uh, we're going to go pretty much keep it all the default settings. I imagine it's probably going to be the best thing. Zombies are allowed, low stress. Uh, this town will not have some of the more stressful quests like town attacks. However, you get 15% less experience. Nah. Uh, last region is Castleville. Pick which region this area will be in. Within the same region, things like clan relations, clan power, plagues, and uprisings carry over from area to area to some extent. And we're going to go with normal difficulty, area size is tiny. All this stuff seems fine. Alright, let's create the new area and begin. Alright, quick help topic system. Welcome to the quick help topic system. To read a new help topic, left click on the blinking quest question mark icons when they appear at the bottom center of the screen. All right, we'll hit close. Let's click on this one. In general, the objective of each game is to survive the zombie apocalypse. Now, that's that's good. There are four ways to succeed. Add this and two ways to fail. Four ways to succeed are military win. Destroy all of the other clans in the area. The diplomatic win. All the remaining clans, including your clan, are allied together. Uh, logistics win. Gather a huge surplus of food. And the adventurer win. Solve all of the quests facing this area. And the easiest way to lose is human loss. All of your followers have been killed. Or military loss. Your health stone has been destroyed. Okay, it looks like we have another one. Click on the ground or hold down the left mouse button. Attacking, press the hot key. Default to the number keys. Corresponding to one of the hot key skills, left click on an enemy or right click on an enemy if there's an attack skill in the bottom right quick slot item. All right, that's it. Let's see what this is here. This is our bulletin board. We're going to left click on it. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, priority two, very important. Grid has been shrunk. Okay. We can cure the condition if you can bring us 15 scree tails. Location is the dead wastes. We'll accept that because of reasons. Kill Zeki the Crusher. The Enforcer? Zeki the Crusher the Enforcer? That's a lot of names there. Zeki the Crusher, zombie sprite big sister. The Enforcer has been spotted. Kill him before he destroys our clan as an example to others. Okay. We'll accept that as well. And the Zombie Scree Uprising. The Zombie Screes are spreading more and more zombies in the Dead Wastes. Go and deal with them before they infect the entire world. Kill six Zombie Screes! Alright, so there we go. We know what we're up against. We know what we're doing. All right, we've accepted all of those. We have other things to read down here. Your clan bulletin board is where you will see, accept, and solve quests that your clan needs to deal with. If you so choose, you can go to the clan relations screen and talk to other clans about quests they would like you to solve for them. Nope, not right now. All right, unlike most games, Zombicide has a very dynamic world. Each and every town will be different, or very different, as it says. Without giving away any spoilers, when an NPC says, do this quick, or something might happen, it will probably happen if you don't do something about it. When an NPC says, hurry, they really do mean it. The game will change depending on what is going on in the area when you arrive, what you do and what you don't do, and even what the monsters and other clans do. So, keep on your toes and solve the clan's problems as quickly as you can. You are the hero, after all. Alright, that being said... Let's say we can go to the skill screen here. And I don't... The new help topic? I don't... It's fine. Alright, we have a bunch of different points that we can allocate. And by a bunch, I mean we basically, I think, have one. Yeah, we have one point to allocate. And we only have one skill that we can allocate it to, which is Fiery Blast. So we're going to do just that. That is for the Fire Mage. However, there's also the Ice Mage. 
The magician. I didn't actually realize that there was stuff down here. I, I apologize. Attack, cape, staff, wand. These are all, I guess, passive things. Okay, I can undo that? No, not enough money. How much does it cost? Oh, it costs us a skill point? Well, that seems awful. Alright, well, I guess we're a fire mage. Surprise! I, I didn't realize that there were extra things down here. Even having played before, guys, I didn't even realize this. It's, it's a sad day. I would have gone with the ice mage. I always prefer ice mages. It's just one of those things. Ah, eh, that's fine. We'll play around with it a little bit. We'll see. Alright, there's more stuff. What else we got? The skill screen. The skill screen shows all the skills available for your character class. A gold border around the skill icon means that you have that skill. Notice that there are multiple tabs at the bottom. Durr. I didn't actually read any of the... Uh, I didn't read some of the questions. I read some of the starting ones, and then I ran out and started doing stuff. So I didn't read everything there was to read about the game. Which is one of the reasons I want to read it now, just in case there's something I would miss just from my experience playing. Like the skill tree thing, for instance. Alright, um, a full class will have four tabs, whereas a hybrid class will only have three. To use a skill, it needs to be in one of your slots on the bottom of the screen. To place a skill in one of the slots, click on the skill in the skill screen and then drag it to the slot. To actually use a skill, either press the hotkey or slot it to the right click. Okay, yes, that's, this is very true. We need to actually go back over to our fire mage here and bring... Oh, it's already down there. Okay. And we need to also add that over here. And what else we got here? UI screens. Here is a list of the main UI screens from their default hotkeys. These screens can be accessed through the small buttons at the bottom of the screen or their hotkeys. Character, relations, inventory, clan info, quest, journals, skills, beastery, uh, or bestiary, I guess. Beastery, I don't whatever. Uh, mini map and map. Oh, also uh, main menu and help. Who knew? And then finally, buying skills. The skills are not arranged in a skill tree. All of the skills are available at the very beginning, but they each have a different point cost. In general, the lower skill is on the the, sc the lower skill is on the screen. The more points it costs. Oh, the lower it is on the screen. Okay, I got gotcha. you. For each skill, the point cost increases by one compared to the last skill level. All right, cool. And there's more. There are three different types of skills, passive, active, and support. Passive skills are skills that automatically work with no input needed from the player, assuming that you have the skill, of course. Active skills only work when the player uses them in the appropriate way. The easiest way to use a skill is to add it to your hotkey bar and press the associated key, or add it to your three right-click skill slots. To do this, click on the icon of the skill in question, and then click on the slot where you want it to go. Support skills work similar to passive skills, but only work with specific other skills. Passive skills have a blue border, active skills have a gray border, and support skills, they have an orange border around them on the skill screen. And that seems to be it. Alright, are we ready to leave this place, ladies and gentlemen? I think perhaps we are. We can teleport to the gate if we wanted to, or we could do all sorts of other things. But since I clicked on something, we have more to read. Your clan gate allows you to quickly teleport to places around the world where you have found gates. To activate a gate in the world, simply left-click on it. Once it is activated, you can return to it from your clan gate whenever you want. Alright, folks, we're going to head out and start fighting some stuff and start just killing things. I don't know if there's going to be a... Ooh, hello, grid. I hear there's a potential recruit in Sullen Crypt of Darkness, level 4. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. And you shrunk or something. we got to do something to cure you, if I'm not wrong. Alright, welcome to the outer world. And they apparently just died for no reason. Fire Blast is here. We're going to start poking and stabbing fools. There's four zombie screes left to kill. Alright, we turn from kill zombie knowledge discovered. Alright, let's go here. Items on the ground by default. Items on the ground will show text above them for easy identification. You can press the Alt key to toggle this feature on and off. You can click on the text to pick up that item. This is usually easier than clicking on the item itself. Typical, you know, what you would expect, right? Your character has multiple layers of damage mitigation, defense, resistances, armor, and health. If a physical attack... Your defense, if a physical attack, your defense, try to avoid the attack altogether. Then if the attack hits, your resistances and armor will reduce the damage taken. Finally, the reduced damage decreases your health. If your health gets down to zero, your character will die. Only permanent and hardcore mode. Uh, what is this outstanding diplomacy statement? Let's left-click to read it. 
I'm going to kill you, weakling. Thanks. Love you too, Death Master the Healer. Seems kind of weird. Oh, what's this? Oh, my arch nemesis. Your arch nemesis is the enemy that is that is likely to give you the most trouble in the next several regions. You may not be able to get to your arch nemesis in this region. All right. Well, that's interesting and creepy. Uh, apparently, we're poisoned. It looks like it will stop bleeding me out soon. Why is this in a circle here? I don't know. Alright, let's go to see what this is a turn for whatever zombie knowledge thing is that we have here. This looks like a map to buried treasure. Cool. Uh, okay, Enchanter Cache location marked on the map, Dead Waste, page 4. Alright, the inventory screen along with all of your bags show... Uh, Along with all of your bags shows you all of the items you're carrying around, which items you actually have equipped. To equip an item, simply click on it and then click where you want it to go. You can also right-click the item and it will equip in the correct spot. You can also set up two weapons or shields and you can easily switch between them with a W key. Par for the course, right guys and gals? Uh, object interaction. Many objects in the world can be used and or destroyed, so keep a lookout for different types of objects. Many times these are useful, but not always. For example, some things are poisonous or are holding up the ceiling. Awkward. Causing large explosions near the support beams isn't the smartest of actions to take. Also, beware, some types of monsters know how to use some objects in the game. Huh. Who knew that would be a thing? I feel like I need to change the settings too, guys and gals. I apologize for this, but I had a hard time at the like opening sequence to get this to sound proper or correct for me. I don't know if they actually have music right now. I hear background ambient sounds and stuff, but not a lot of music. You wish to do battle. Oh, oh, you screes are coming at me. All right. There we are. We have completed one of our quests, which is pretty sweet. And apparently, these things poison us like every time fall before ooh we got one scree tail at a time oh we got another one and we're still groaning and complaining Are these webs apparently we can kill spider webs and burn out the screes as we run through frolicking and doing oh there's a scree statue here did I kill the scree statue I think I did Oh, zombie screes. Oh. I will beat you to death with my stick of doom. Fear me. We got a light door. Oh, what does that even mean? Alright, killing off some more zombies. Doing some work. Well, let's take a look at some more of our help stuff here. Alright, item rarities. It's basically what you would expect. The normal or gray common rare set is actually not green. Usually... I suppose. No, usually it's it's gray, white, green is a set, I don't know. Anyway, rare, set, elite, artifacts, and then legendary is actually the blue. Normal are just that, normal items. Common are, and rare magic items have some random magical enhancement, with rare items usually having more. Belongs to a group of items you can find. All of them, you'll get set bonuses. Okay. Elite. Uh, items are items that are named, have enchantments that are always the same, and are usually very powerful. Artifacts are items similar to elite items, but usually have at least one extra enhancement, so they're even more powerful. And legendary items are the Holy Grail. They are the same as the artifact counterpart, except they have an additional random magic modifier. Cool. So, basically, really good Juju Magumbo. That's what we're saying. Oh, oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, this looks like a place I do not want to be. You are shrouded in doom and gloom. I shall burn you with fire. Righteous fire. Alright, money. Uh, money in the world of Illyria comes in the form of copper pieces, CP, silver pieces, SP, and gold pieces, GP. Oh, so this wasn't skill point. It was a silver piece. Okay. Good to know. What else we got? Clan layout. Your clan layout is used to place your relics, guards, and doors. Relics are magical items that affect everyone in your clan at the same time, and they can also be very powerful. Or so that the people can be very powerful. You can have four relics displayed at once. Guards are monsters that help protect your clan from clan raids and town attacks. You can buy guards from Beastmasters, 
Find them bound to crystals and send them out to capture guards expeditions to get more guards. You can only have four guards on guard duty at once. It's kind of interesting. Like I said, this game's got a lot of interesting mechanics and things that I'm looking forward to delving into deeper. And I think you guys are going to enjoy that a lot. What do we just do? Relations between your NPCs is very important. When relations get bad, NPCs will fight each other, sometimes even to the death. If enough clan members dislike an NPC, they can even banish the NPC from the clan. You can see how each NPC views other NPCs by clicking on the relation or clinking on the relations button on that NPC main menu. You can improve relations between two NPCs by or NPCs NPCs by giving gifts to one of the NPCs in the name of the other. You can do this by clicking on the gifts button on the clan info screen. You can try to stop a fight by no donating food and or money to both NPCs in a fight. All very interesting mechanics, guys and gals. I think it's going to be quite interesting. Rumored position of Picaro, the parasite waypoint added to the Gabi Baron map. Ooh, oh, a fight between Grid and Clay have stopped. We need more Moon Clan hunter belts to restore a house in town. All right, our idiots are starting fights. What, what's going on here? Picaro the Parasite. No one will miss you when I have killed you. Well, you're super fun. Alright, let's see if we can't find our way back to town. I'm gonna head back that way and see if we can't stop these idiots from being idiots. What was that? Quincoln Ghost? Oh, hold on. Let's do a little bit of murder here. Okay, I'm just being stunned over here and over again by a zombie pixie. Alright, looks like we hit level 2. We got two ice bombs and we can talk to the ghost, I think. Avenge the death of Quincoln. Uh, he was a raven. It was my name before I died. My last quest was to kill Stab the Warden, a zombie pixie, but I failed. The spirit is trapped here. While I have unfinished business, go kill Stab the Warden as soon as possible. I will accept it. I'll hit OK. Um, we have our character screen. We have unspent talent points. We are a magician after all, so we're going to, of course, go with this, this, and this. And that's going to be our play for, well, for right now. We have combat stats, other stats, and main stats. We can export things, all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, where's our diplomacy thing? Our clan information here. These two are fighting amongst one another. They need to stop it or I'm going to smack them. Uh, gifts. Let's give Clay a gift to Clay from to Clay from Grid. Send gift. I'm going to select an item. Apparently they don't want any of the... Okay, whatever. That's fine. Let's take a look at the map. Dead Waste Gate. Uh, Enchanter Cache there. Coal Form. There's a monster over there that we can get that might actually join us as a guard. Alright, well, I guess we'll continue to do some murder here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll come over toward the Enchanter's Cache because we can, I guess. I should have probably also... Ah, Scree Tail. Oh. Zombie Scree will take him out as well. I, I'm guessing that the zombies come back after the other Screes. Alright, what do we get out of this? Oh, we got a whole bunch of armor scraps. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, these guys gotta stop fighting. They're getting on my nerves here. Each time you increase in level, you get more attribute skill points to distribute how you want. We already know about that. We just did that. Okay. Expeditions, you can send out a party to hunt, or to forge for potion, herbs, or to adventure. And, of course, to capture the guards from the clan info screen. A hunting party will gather food through hunting, foraging, trapping, and fishing. How much food they gather depends on how many people you send, what skills the NPCs have, what kind of area they hunt in, etc., etc., etc. For example, forests are good for hunting. The bonus or penalties is a specific area they are in, and some of the some of the, and some amount of randomness. You can also send out NPCs to forage for herbs necessary to create mana and health potions. Similar to hunting, how successful this is depends on the number of NPCs, NPC skills, the area they are sent to, and the monster level of the area. Higher is better, and some randomness. 
Note, how many expedition points you have controls how often you can send out expeditions. Also, your NPCs can be hurt, killed, or infected while out on any kind of expedition. Well, that's not super fun. Alright. There was something over this way. What was over here? To the dead wastes. Well, let's not go that way just yet. It's kind of a dead-end area here. Well, I'm not sure what all we need to do. They need to stop fighting, though. That much I am certain of. Some more armor scraps. Oh, more diplomacy. I've just been promoted, and killing you is at the top of my to-do list. Well, I'm super happy for you. Kudos and congratulations are in store. I know I have a skill point I need to actually spend a level up. I'm aware. Give me your tail. No, don't kill him. He's gonna come back as a zambi. Yep, see, I told you. I told you, he got infected with the plague. I'm just going to stand in this thing. Alright, let's get our next skill point going. Uh, apparently we get two points this time. The shield of fire protects you from fire as well as burning. Eh. Oh, we can rank up too. That's kind of nice. Eh. You know what? Why not? We're going to do it. We're going to commit to the Fire Mage way of life. Alright, is there anything else over this way? You wish to fight me, you fools. Don't you know who I am? We got a pouch here. That might actually be another bag slot for us. Let's take a peek. Uh, yeah, it is. Sweet. We got ourselves another bag slot. It doesn't hold much, but... It's a thing. I I swear I saw something over here. There it is. Alright, we'll continue moving around. Another scree tail. We need six more of these. I'll take a quick look. We're entering Bellbrook. Is that the town that we started in? I feel like it is. Alright, so where are my idiots at that they keep fighting one another? Stop fighting each other. I don't know what Clay's problem is. I don't know where Clay is. Oh, we have everybody up here. Recently someone lied to me, huh? It's all very interesting. We have a health stone which I assume heals us. I'm not entirely certain. We have a player stash, a... Oh, we have some quests that we can turn in. Okay, we can solve that. We got some experience, that's not bad. There's definitely some more work that needs to be done. These are the relics that we can place, which we don't have. Oh, we do. A cracked light door. Used... okay. Oh, we already had a... Oh, we already had a light door up there. Why would we want a cracked light door? Huh... Zero out of zero. This one can't be repaired. This one can't be repaired. I, I, hmm. I don't understand the, the whole point of that, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. What do we get here? We got ourselves... Just a dagger. that We can right-click to identify it. I guess we'll be able to sell it. We have a cloth sash that we can also use. What did that do? That adds fire resistance, some fire damage, and some armor. Cool. We have ice bombs that we can probably put on our uh, little dealie down there. We have some stash stuff, and our town looks a little bit uh, not super great, for lack of a better term. But that's okay. Alright, so we're going to head back out. We're going to try to get the rest of the scree tails. And then we'll see if we can't actually figure out where we need to go to get some stuff handled here. Because I feel like we're... Uh, everything's supposed to be within the dead waste, yet we don't seem to be able to find most of this stuff. Oh. What? Grid was killed by Raven? Oh my gosh, my guys are just violent, evil, hateful people. I'm gonna have to deal with that now. What, what, are, you, what are you morons doing, guys? Come on now. Uh, why would you Why would you kill Grid, dude? Come on. 
Well, I guess we're never going to have the quest from him. I, I, I figured that they wouldn't go crazy so quickly, and I apparently we didn't have any gifts to give. I can send them out on expeditions, though, right? That's a thing I can do? Because I think I'm going to. Alright, you. You are going to... I don't know how to do that, though, folks. Um... Hmm. It's a thing we're supposed to be able to do. Oh, here we go. I can recruit him to party. I can donate to him. Give him extra rations. Can I get him to do something useful, or...? Go do some construction. What is he constructing, though? No longer does normal work except for carpentry. Nah, you just do normal. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but we'll figure it out. Again, this is stuff that we're going to learn as we go through. I'll look at the next help stuff in the next episode, guys and girls. Right now, I would rather do some more killing, some murder, death, and such, and then maybe finish up the next quest if we can get the scree tails that I'm looking for. I'd be pretty stoked about that. Where did that little dude go? There he is. Seems like stuff keeps, uh, infection spread, zombie knowledge discovered, carrier stage one knowledge, okay. So we're getting all sorts of information, which is kind of neat. Ow, that didn't feel very good. Alright guys, settle down. Burn for it, it's all good. Alright, so we survived all of that. To a degree, I mean, we're hurt, we're going to be bleeding for a little bit, but overall we didn't do too bad. Got ourselves another back slot there, that's going to be nice. And, yeah, this is another dead end. We still need to get more scree tails, and it just doesn't look like there's any screes in the area, which is a bit saddening too. Some barrels, uh, I don't think they explode, it doesn't look like it. Looking around, well, there's some stuff to still be done here. Now, the game does have multiplayer, and it does have co-op gameplay, if I didn't read incorrectly. So, if you guys wanted to play a game like this, or this particular game, uh, you know, with a friend, you can definitely do that. You say you were tough, but I don't believe that was the case. Hey, we're now level 3. Sweet. Let's do our character thing real quick. Go with two more points there, two points there, we're going to go one here, we're going to keep kind of just moseying around with it. Right, what do we have? Zombie pixies. Another light door. Hey, a bronze bonus chest. Uh oh. Got some ice bombs, we got oil of purification. Which apparently is a big deal. And I think this is a pretty decent spot for us to break off this first episode. I hope you guys had some fun with it. If you want more information about the game, you want more information about the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll be down below in the description of the video. If you want to know where you can grab the game, that'll also be down there. And if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will catch you guys next time with more. That's right, more of... Zombicide by Soldak Entertainment. That's right, folks. There you have it. Anyway, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the pre-show, and I will see you later.